Onward! Hello, it's me, your disappointed father, letting you know that I am extra disappointed today because the gas station was closed. So I guess we have to hang out. Welcome back to the five days of pain. Hey everybody, welcome to Hoi 4 Radio Zoo, the series where I play every single Star Nation in Hearts of Iron 4, a task that you might think was a little bit ridiculous, but we've actually almost finished it. There's only a few videos left now, and you can get yourself this cool t-shirt right now. Celebrating the series, only a few left, link down below. <gasps> Ah! Sorry, I'm haunted by many demons. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some of the last episodes of Hoi 4 A to Z, and today we are in the letter Y. Why for? Why am I doing this? Just kidding. Why for? Why Yugoslavia? All right, Yugoslavia, one of the most fun nations in... Hold on, that's not right. Yugoslavia, one of the nations in the world. Much- wait, that's not right either. Yugoslavia used to be a nation in the world. All right, so Yugoslavia got a update in, uh, which- which DLC was it? Death or Dishonor? Death or Dishonor, I think, which I actually covered on my stream not too long ago, which was, um... Interesting. Uh, if you don't know, occasionally I stream, and right now on my Twitch, I'm doing a series where I go through each of the DLCs in order, going back in time through the patches, and playing a nation that was released or updated in said patch. They voted that I did Yugoslavia in the Death or Dishonor one. Yeah, it was spectacular. Real spectacular. There would have been a video on it, but Braun never edited the VOD. Round of applause for Braun, everybody. On top of actually being updated in Death or Dishonor, I'm pretty sure Paradox also gave this another update at some point through um, one of the other folk trees where they just touched up a few of the old ones, but for the life of me, I can't remember what they changed. Um, it definitely looks more compact than when I looked at it on my stream, that's for darn sure. Uh, there is the super curse path over here, I think, where you just release everyone as independent nations. Uh, I'm not too sure why we'd do that. But I am really tempted. You can't dangle a bit of cursed forbidden fruit in front of me and not expect me to bite into the poison to end this pain. I kind of feel like going communist though, so we can get our boy Mr. Bros. Looking through it, I don't really want to go through the hassle of, uh, you know, balkanizing the Balkans, and I don't really want to join the Germans either. So I have no choice but to unite the Slavs. Slavism, a great meme trying to unite all the Slavic people throughout the world, which uh, quickly falls apart once you put two or more of these different Slavic people together and realize very quickly that they don't get on. As you can see, the Yugoslav army is strong. We have many guns, so many perspiring prospects in the world for Yugoslavia. Hello, that is Prince Paul. I'm sure he'll be around for a long time, right? Right? Will the uh, amazing Yugoslav Navy survive to the end of the game? <laughs> Place your bets in the comments down below. Oh my god, I thought I could get the Communist Revolutionary Man, but my damn PP prices are being inflated by Macedonian opposition! What I'm saying is you're lucky you are such a resource-rich area. That's right, boys! It's Tito time, and I'm not talking about Michael Jackson's brother! Talk about the communist Yugoslavian leader. He is the man who exploded Yugoslavia. Uh, not because he was the one personally responsible, but um, because he died. <laughs> now, yeah, we could straight up join the common turn, but I'm not going to because the path that we go down that isn't the common turn gives me some pretty damn good core defense. And if you were to look at Yugoslavia, you may or may not notice that we may need to do a bit of Defending. Interesting enough, though, so it's did just guarantee me, which, uh, that might lead to an early war with Germany. It's my problem, though, because it's Tito time. Uh, question is, who do I want in my military high command? Got got the dream team here, if you actually look into it. You got, got Mihajlo Mi Lukic, what an what interesting fellow. Uh, we got Borivoc Mirkovic. 
Who is a plane? Yeah, I've forgotten that uh, spin-off of Cars, or whatever the hell that airplanes movie is called. Brom will put it on the screen right now. But the Yugoslavian bomber interceptor himself right there. There he is in the movie plane. Can you see him? He's got the Yugoslavian flag on him. We're immediately going into the Pan-Slavic Workers Congress, so we can go ahead and start instigating some peasant uprisings in Albania. Phrases you will only ever hear from playing Hoi 4. Our boy is going to have to uh, shrink the army for a bit, as I need to get some guns to, uh, well, give to the Albanian peasants so they can revolt. Don't worry, I'll, I'll build you back stronger. I can immediately do a communist coup in them. Should I do it? I get the feeling I should because the Italians will come a-knocking for Albania pretty quickly. Oh god, that is... That is a tiny communist Albania. They did get their only uh, little troop there, though. I think we got pretty lucky with that one. There he goes, the the brave peasant army of Albania. And now on to Bulgaria. We could take our time for Bulgaria, though, because uh, yeah, the Italians won't be instantly annexing them. Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever, why not? I really saw myself getting involved in the Spanish Civil War. Oh, my Bulgarian militants, would you like a gun? Yeah, look at that, they, uh, they love my guns, look at all that. Oh, but, uh, Boris himself does not look like he's very happy at all. You know, Jeremy, feels like there used to be a bit of more distance between us last time I was looking over here. Right, they're 40% communist, probably time to hit the coup button. Right, please win the coup. I can't send any volunteers as I deleted the army. Um, they're, uh... They're, they're, they're not fighting. <laughs> they're just staring at each other. Loose. Hopefully the Soviets will send them volunteers. Uh, I I really hope they do. Otherwise, this might become a problem. All right, they're not sending any volunteers. So we're going with plan B, which is 32 width cavalry, which suddenly I have enough to uh, send volunteers now. Only one. Oh, no. Right, you, you best get the damn job done, Ivan. They do have an army. Are they just- is the AI just broken? Hold on, let's see. What, what if I just start- yep. Okay, the AI was just broken. Thank you, Paradox. 10 out of 10 game! Well, that was easy. And now to, uh, well, shoot all those horses. A second. Did they still straight up steal Al- Okay, they killed Albania. The event said Zog submitted. Zog wasn't in charge. How did he get the final say? All right, I'll I'll remember this one, Mr. Lini. I am kind of scared that Hungary will join the Axis before I can actually do a successful coup on them. So what I'm going to do is just do it early and pray to Jeebus. All right, I've sent my volunteers over. It's not looking bad so far. Uh, I'm assuming they might get some volunteers. Actually, no, because they're not. Oh, they are. Okay, we got to hurry up before the Germans arrive. Just walked into Budapest. Wasn't that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, Romania. A cool thing about flame tanks, right? They did get nerfed recently, but uh, despite the fact they do give you some bonuses with the flamethrower, they also, if you put a dozer blade on them, give you a whole extra one entrenchment. And uh, I plan on doing a lot of entrenching, so being able to just whack one of these on and get a whole extra entrenchment pretty good. So I plan on doing the same with Delight Recon too. We can just whack one of those bad boys on and boom. Look at that. Look at that. That's a two whole extra entrenchment for nothing. Uh, yeah, the, I, I am making these tanks as cheap as possible, by the way, too. There's literally uh, no point to them other than their, their dozer blade, which uh, I'm going to take full advantage of. Yeah, if you plan on doing the defensive game and entrenching, uh, just go ahead and make two shitty flames divisions and uh, a light tank division get it on recon boom you get an extra two entrenchment for absolutely nothing also since people seem to not know what a flame tank is still even though we're months into the patch all you need to do to make a flame tank is research engineer company to get a light tank boom like that click flamethrower boom then click the drop down and make sure you designate it as a flame support company or it no work also we're gonna get ourselves the uh, spirit over here called stack it yeah hold on I'm going back in time uh, the static warfare modifier which give us more entrenchment oh my god we are digging to the center of the earth at this point that's Romania I think it's time to introduce you to the revolution civil war actually required fighting 
think, but uh, there you go. Romania secured. You also need to do Greece, but what I'm thinking is because Greece gets declared war on by Italy and none of these guys are puppets, they are just my allies, or they will be my allies in the case of Romania, essentially means that if Greece gets declared war on Wallace and my faction, all of these guys, because they're AI, will just join the war and probably all get rolled over by the Germans, which, uh, that's kind of undoing all my hard work here, which uh, means I think I'm going to coup them, uh, but I don't think I'm going to let them into the faction, but... I do need to go ahead and get Turkey somehow. I guess I could just let them in, then kick them out. <laughs> I'm going to send volunteers down there. If they win, they win and we move on to Turkey. If they lose, well, uh, I'll throw a plate in Uranus, Greece. Oh, I can actually straight up bypass this, which is good. Um, because Italy did just declare war on Greece, which means I can, in fact, uh, skip on to old Turkey. And communist Greece just join the Axis. Of course they did. Oh, oh there goes Molotov Ribbentrop. No one's declared war on Yugoslavia yet, though. I'm just sort of sitting around, waiting, growing stronger. Problem I am having, though, is I'm running out of manpower. Having not uh, actually expanded anywhere this entire game, uh, we're running a bit low on people to put in the army, especially concerning because these are still only 18 with. Although I guess I don't really plan on actually moving at all this entire game. I am, in fact, doing a uh, Lord of the Rings Dwarfs, and I think I may have dug too deeply in the Mines of Moria. I guess while we're at it, we should probably go ahead and, uh, cool little turkey up. Uh, yeah, again, I don't plan on helping here, so, uh, gonna be interesting to see what happens. Well, they, <laughs> they immediately won. I didn't have to do anything. There you go. The Balkans and Turkey and Greece are now a beautiful shade of bluey purple. And they didn't even join my faction. Thank you, Turkey. I thought the AI would be stupid enough to declare war on me, but, uh, nope. I'm just here. Still waiting. Oh, I don't think the Axis are going to declare war on me anytime soon, and the Allies have liberated Albania, so I guess I'll do it myself. Well, that's fun. I also get to fight the Japanese. Wah! Uh, I don't think my entrenchment is ever going to matter now, because I don't think the AI will attack me, but uh, I guess I'll attack them. Question is... What do I do now? Yugoslavia has never been more popular. I have to uh, make sure I don't call any of my allies in. I might do it in a while just to uh, spy swings up a bit if I think the Germans are weak enough, but uh, right now they are a massive liability. In the Hungarian, like, <laughs> defense here looks, <laughs> doesn't look that great. Oh, they're actually attacking me. Wow, that's going amazing for you. Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, quite a bit of defense right there, and 42% entrenchment. I'm not even at my final form yet. It would be the Italians naval invading me, but it's the damn French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> I'm sending the Navy out raiding time. They are really trying to take this tile up here. They might actually get it, but uh, that's fine because right next to it is a river, which they definitely won't get. Also, the cost of them taking it is definitely not worth it at all. Oh my god, AI. Could go ahead and actually deploy uh, more troops than I have, say, up in reserve here, but the realistic thing here is that I don't have a lot of supply to work with up here at all. Uh, so for now, we're gonna hold off. Well, oh, no, never mind. The Germans have restarted their offensive, and so far they have gained zero land at the cost of a amazing 350,000 dead Germans. I know something I should uh, probably watch out for is the AI retaking Albania from the Allies. But, uh, that does mean my dream of owning Albania has come somewhat closer. I would uh, go ahead and give the award to the Allies for uh, now being officially worse than Yugoslavia in World War II. Oh, Italy's looking kind of weak, so I'm gonna snipe a bit of land and come out of the little goblin trenches. But watch out, boys. It's the Bombardersky Puck. I recently moved my front line into Bulgaria down here, and they stole three provinces. Retake it with the power of the Bombardersky Italy just capitulated. Nice! Still not going to advance into the Germans, though. Finally kicked the uh, rest of the Axis out of Greece there, and uh, as you can see, got a nice little encirclement. Just push. I mean, I got a pretty big air force now. It's not doing a lot of cast damage, but it's doing some. I feel like I might actually be able to do something now. And uh, the Allies look like they've got this wrapped up for the most 
part. So it's as usual, not looking too fresh. Glad I, glad I get to see all my allied divisions sending volunteers over there. Right, let's just see what happens if I click the magic button. Uh, yeah, not looking too great. How much cast we doing? Yeah, not a lot, but enough, I suppose. We could probably do something here. No, before I started this offensive, uh, this very pointless offensive in terms of actual unit capacity here, considering they're not offensive units, they're defensive. Uh, I think I was on about just under 100k casualties, and, uh, yeah, oof. Half a million. <laughs> uh, okay, how many Germans did I get? Okay, just under a million. I think I was around like 800, maybe like 700k before I started this, which was pretty good. Uh, I just thought the defensive part of this game would uh, last a little bit longer than it did. Did I, did I read that right? Okay, yeah. I have 5% war participation. <laughs> Guys, I have not been helping, apparently. Well, um, I guess I will take Albania. Come on, I've, okay, I have player-led conference on. I honestly thought I turned that off. Does that mean I left the Yemen mod on? I don't think I did. <laughs> okay, whatever. There you go. Look at that. Peak Yugoslavia right there. Oh, uh, this is actually a really fun game. I enjoyed this one a lot. Uh, I think playing like the little nations like this and just fortressing up and becoming a bunker is probably one of the, the best things you can do in Hoi 4. And I gotta say, I don't know if the, uh, the Yugo tree was changed from how it was, um, back in the day. I can't remember off the top of my head, but if they changed it for, to, to work like this, I think this is probably one of the most fun nations you can play down here in the Balkans. It's definitely not like an expansion focused one where you actually go about uh, beating people up but if you just want to play like the defensive game I think it's really good uh, obviously you need to um, like cool these guys so you don't have to worry about them on your border um, I guess you could also invade some of them but uh, I think it's just easier to cool them you get a lot of manpower and resources as Yugoslavia I mean just look at this I managed to get a pretty big air force all together uh, where, where is the air force oh there it is it's everywhere uh, but yeah like I I had a lot of planes towards the end of that just because we have so much aluminum. Aluminum. Al the minion movie. And obviously you get Hungary aligned too, you get all their aluminium minimums, and you get the Romanian oil. The only problem I really had was uh, with, the, with the rubber. Yeah, there's none left because I'm at war with Japan. But Yugoslavia, very, very fun. I highly recommend you check it out if you're more interested in these uh, little defensive games. Uh, I had a lot of fun, and uh, I think I did the same kind of thing on my stream as well, but uh, that was uh, before the, they changed the tree. Uh, hey, if you enjoyed the video, uh, I would go finish Japan, but uh, it looks like they're already on the way out. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe button down below. Get the new t-shirt down below. Not a lot of it left if you want to get one before the go. And, uh, yeah, only two episodes left, and we are done with Hoi 4 A to Z, so leave a like and subscribe button down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bron, put the rod up.